Hi, I'm David Negri and I'm super happy to be here with you today to talk about bots and how to integrate bots into Work Adventure and more specifically today, how to integrate bots built with talk.ai. So, why would, would you want bots inside Work Adventure? Well, for a variety of reasons. If you are building a virtual office, maybe you are not always here, you want someone to welcome your visitors when you are not here, or you have a large map and you want to help newcomers understand what is going on with a virtual visit, or just for fun, you know. Uh, really, there are plenty of reasons to want bots. What about talk? Talk, if you've never heard about it, it's the Open Conversation Toolkit. It's an open source platform that will help you design and build bots. And we will integrate those bots from Talk inside Work Adventure. All right, let me make you a quick demo. So basically, I've got my bot here, which is called Bella Bar, because Bella Bar Talk, you know. And when I go and talk to Bella Bar, it's going to say, tell me, hello, I'm here to help you. Feel, feel free to ask me anything. So I'm going to say, hi, how can I help you? Do you want me to take you on a tour? Let's say yes. And suddenly, the boat is taking me on a tour. And basically, that's it. So I'm going to show you how we can build such a conversational agent right now. All right. So let's go back. Oh, I forgot to mention that if you want to learn more about talk, the website is doc.talk.ai and you've got an extensive documentation here. Good. All right. Back to our presentation. Before I dive into the details, let's look at what's happening behind the scenes. I'm connecting to Work Adventure here. And the fact is that the boats are also connecting to Work Adventure and they are running into a headless uh, a browser. Uh, so basically, the Work Adventure server sees the bots just like you. So from the viewpoint of the Work Adventure server, the bot is somewhat a real person, which is kind of fun. Uh, the bot has a script, and uh, this script is going to connect to the talk server. So you need a talk server for this to work and it's going to connect to the boat API inside the talk server. Talk is made of several components. It has a boat API, a natural language understanding API. Uh, it has talk studio, which is basically the admin dashboard. Um, one thing that is really important. Oh, wait. So a uh, quick question first, why would you take talk versus another solution. Uh, with Work Adventure, you can uh, right now uh, build your custom bot. Basically, here you can put your own script and do whatever you want. You can also integrate it with LLMs. Uh, we are providing an integration with uh, GPT right now, uh, Mistral in the future. And let's face it, LLMs are really much better at understanding the user. They have a wide knowledge of the world because they have been trained on a massive data set. They are kind of easy to set up. And in contrast, uh, talk is probably a bit harder to set up. And um, well, it requires some work. However, talk output is predictable because basically you'll see, you type whatever talk is going to say. So there is no risk of hallucination because you control the output. It's also production ready. It's used in the wild. Right now it's used uh, in large companies like the French railway um, national company uh, that is using TOC for the ticket ordering system. So it's kind of robust. And also it's been designed to be integrated with third party systems. And this is kind of uh, easy. In the future, I expect TOC to 
start integrating LLMs, rack system, so the two are going to merge. But right now there is kind of a big difference between the two systems. One thing that is important also, Work Adventure does not provide a talk server out of the box. So if you want to use the talk integration, you will have to host your own talk server. Talk server. And also uh, the both API components that you see here must be accessible over HTTPS. Uh, so Work Adventure can connect to this API. All right, enough talking and let's dive into the dirty details. We are going to build a new boat step by step. So first of all, I'm going to connect to Talk Studio. So this is my um, instance of Talk Studio. Uh, as I explained, you will have to install your own. So I'm starting to go into settings, new application, and I'm going to create my boat. So let's call it demo boat, right? Oh, wait. I was too fast, I forgot to select local. So I'm going to do this bot in English. By the way, you can select your natural language understanding engine. Right now I'm using OpenNLP, but basically you can use whatever you want. So I'm creating my bot and one important step is to click on configuration and add basically a connector. So a bot in talk can be connected to various connectors like Messenger, Slack, Teams, whatever. We don't have a work adventure connector, but we don't need it because we have a web connector and work adventure is going to connect to this connector. All right. One important thing here, we have the path to the connector. We are going to need that later. So I'm going to come back here later. Good. So my bot is created. Now my bot knows absolutely nothing. So I'm going to start adding uh, some phrases. So maybe uh, someone could come and say, hello. Okay. So if someone comes and say, hello, what am I going to answer? I'm going to answer, hi there, can I help you? Uh, do you want me to take you on a tour, for instance? Right. So I'm going to click the little plus sign here and I'm going to create this story. The story is created. If I go inside test here and I'm saying, hello, the bot is going to answer hi there. Okay, good. But what if I type hi? Sorry, I didn't understand. Okay, so the bot is kind of stupid. Uh, and like with an LLM, hello and hi, we have to train him first uh, for the bot to get a better understanding. So let's go to language understanding tab here. And you see here, I typed hi, and basically the bot did not know where to put it. So he gave the unknown intent where actually I want the hello intent, which is basically answer so just type when I say hello. If I say that and I'm going to test back and I'm saying hi, Okay, it's much better. Let's add another um, story. Can you take me on a tour? So if I ask that, the boat should answer, sure, let's go. So I'm adding this sentence, I'm creating the story. And if I'm going to test and I'm saying, can you take me on the tour, saying, sure, let's go. If I say, um, I don't know, take me on a tour, it does not understand. If I say hello with an exclamation mark, it doesn't understand. So I still need to train the bot. So hello is going to be the hello intent. I'm validating. Take me on a tour is going to be the, can you take me on a tour intent? So it requires some work, but as you train the bot, the bot is going to be more clever and at some point it will start to understand variations in uh, sentences. All right. So I built this first bot. Now I want to integrate it into Work Adventure. So let's go inside Work Adventure. I'm going to go back 
here and I'm going to go into the menu, into the bots menu, and I'm going to create a new bot. So my bot name is going to be called, let's call it demo bot. It's a talk.ai bot. I can choose the skin of the bot here. So maybe I can choose this little guy. And I can decide to start area of the bot. One thing that is important here, I need the REST API URL. So you, you remember, it needs to be the API to the bot API of talk. In my case, it is HTTPS bot.talktest.workadventure.com. Um, or e. uh, in your case, it's going to be something else, so it depends on the way you install talk. And now I'm going into the settings tab, demo boat, I'm clicking configuration, and you remember I need the relative path here, and basically this is going to be the path to my boat inside talk. So I'm going to click create boat. My bot is created, now I have to start it. Okay, excellent. And now I need to wait a little bit for the bot to start. So it's going to start. It can take quite some time uh, because basically we need to spin up uh, a browser and uh, sometimes if there is not enough servers, we need to spin up a server first and the headless browser inside the server later. So it can take between 30 seconds, one minute if we are lucky, and six, seven minutes if we have to do a lot of work. All right. Okay, my bot is here. So let's try it. I'm going to click on the bot because he's in the silent zone. I cannot talk to the bot, but I can click summon to tell him. Okay, come with me. Hello, I'm here to help you if you try me anything. So I'm going to say hi. Do you want me to take you on a tour? Take me on a tour. And it's going to say, oh Jesus, can you take me on a tour? Yay, sure, let's go. But it's not moving anywhere, right? So how can I explain to the bot how to do some tricks. Well, let me show you. If you go inside the documentation of the talk bots inside Work Adventure, inside the Work Adventure documentation, so at the bottom, we have a bot special actions reference. And basically, what it says is that you can uh, use special JSON message instead of answers inside talk. And if you do say so, the bot is going to perform some action. So the most common one is lead a user to a given area on the map. So I'm going to copy and paste this JSON. And inside the story where, uh, can you take me on a tour? So I'm going to edit this story. After, sure, let's go, I'm going to give him a bit of JSON. And here I need to put the name of an area inside the map. So I'm going to go in tile. And this is my, my map in tile, for instance. I'm going to go to the conference room here. So I've got a small area, which is named conference. So I'm going to do the test with this. Let's try it. So I'm putting conference here, adding the new answer. And maybe after that, uh, I want to say here we are to the conference room. And maybe after that, I can do some more tricks like, um, you know, maybe I'm going to wait a bit because it's important the bot is quite fast. So I'm going to wait like five seconds. And then I'm going to ask, uh, shall I take you to the showroom? All right. And I'm going to update this um, story. So let's see if it is working. 
Now I'm going to say again, can you take me on a tour? And sure, let's go. And you see the bot is right now taking me through the map and it's working perfectly. I'm quite happy about it. <laughs> uh, directly to the conference room. It, oh, okay. Come on. I shouldn't have typed that. Well, anyway, I'm back in the conference room. So you see how it works. Um, you have quite a number of things you can do with the boat. Uh, basically, you can open a website. You can tell the bot to move to a given area, but without you. Uh, and the most powerful one, in my opinion, but also the hardest to master, you can set any kind of variable. So if you have been using the scripting API in Work Adventure, you probably already know what variables are. Uh, they are storing the state of a map, so you can decide to open or close the door by attaching the state of the door to a variable. Uh, if you want, you can uh, have a layer that is plen with plenty of fire, and when you set the variable fire to true, boom, there is a fire on the map. So with a little bit of imagination, you can do very fun things and let the bot actually control your map through this. All right. Okay. So that was uh, my uh, presentation of uh, talk uh, and of our integration with Work Adventure. There are a lot of things that are going to evolve in the coming uh, months. Uh, at Work Adventure, we are going to improve things a lot. And at Tuck, I know that the team is also working hard to integrate LLMs, RAG, and uh, next generation bots. So uh, keep an eye on this and don't hesitate to give it a try. Thanks very much for your attention and bye-bye.